Peace, what's going down? It's DJ Payne One. This video is for rappers and producers. First of all, let me just say that as artists, we really need to respect each other. If I want a rapper to rap on my beats, or if I need a music video shot, I need to offer something in exchange for that. Usually that something is money. Sometimes you trade favors, but regardless, there's a fair exchange. Now, in most cases, a rapper is looking for beats for his or her project, right? And because they want to use a producer's original work for a project that they benefit from, they have to respect the producer and compensate them. Look, a lot of rappers think they can record to and sell any beat that they find on YouTube because they're freely available, but that logic doesn't add up. If you attend a free Lil Wayne concert on your college campus and you film the whole thing and then you try to sell it as a live DVD, you're gonna get in trouble because that's copyright violation. Also, if Drake drops a freely downloadable freestyle, right, and you download it for free and then you try to upload it to CD Baby and sell it, you'll get in trouble because that's copyright violation. This applies to beats, even beats that are on YouTube. Because as I showed you in last week's video, a producer owns the rights to their beat the second they create it. That's the law in the United States. But not everybody understands that. So I always say this, if your beats get stolen, reach out to the person who stole them and try to work something out with them first and foremost. If they aren't interested in respecting you as a musician and as a human being who needs to make a living, then do what you gotta do. Now, I get my beats stolen all the time. People will rip them off of YouTube, make songs to them, and sell them. Tags or not. And they don't contact me, they don't compensate me. When they sell these songs to beats that they stole from me through CD Baby, TuneCore, DistroKid, and these other online aggregator services, I usually get a copyright claim against uh, my beats which I have uploaded to YouTube, which is another benefit of uploading your beats uh, to YouTube. You should be doing that anyway. Um, and as annoying as it is to be getting these copyright claims all the time, I at least get alerted that my beat has been stolen. So I immediately contact that recording artist who stole the beat and I respectfully ask them to just purchase a license. Um, and if they refuse or if they ignore me or they cuss me out, which happens, as I've stated in other videos, I file a DMCA claim. Uh, and you can do it right from the website of these aggregators. Now here's something recording artists and producers need to know about beat theft. People getting caught selling copyrighted music, for example, a song recorded to a beat that was never legally licensed or paid for, are losing their entire catalog. It's, it's not funny because these aggregators are sick of, of getting these uh, claims against them and, and they just don't want to deal with it. I got a copyright claim against me for an original instrumental of mine. I checked it out and found that the rapper had stolen my beat for selling it through CD Baby. So I contacted the rapper and I received no response. Um, so then, you know, some time later, I reported it to CD Baby, who tried also to contact the rapper and they didn't respond. Um, I think they gave them a full week. They deleted his entire account. This, this is the email I received from CD Baby. I'm just quoting it. I did not receive a response from the account holder and have canceled distribution with our digital partners. Full removals may take up to 30 days. That, so that's serious. Yeah, and tell me something, is, is a $30 beat lease worth losing your entire catalog over? Is it worth losing your entire aggregator account over? Um, and, and I don't say this to scare rappers, I don't say it to scare producers, it's meant to show you two things. Number one, producers, you have power even if you don't realize it, so, so don't get taken advantage of. And then number two, recording artists, make the right choices so you don't end up in a bad situation. Don't steal beats, and if you don't know whether or not you have the proper licenses to use a beat, contact the producer. And you know, when in doubt, don't put it out. <laughs> or at least don't upload it uh, directly to these monetizable platforms. You know, part of that is is us respecting ourselves enough to do things right so our missteps don't come back to haunt us and, and affect us in negative ways. But it also comes down to us just respecting each other. I mean, we're all artists and the more we invest in one another, the more that dollar circulates around the, the independent and unsigned artist community and then comes right back to us in another form. So know the laws, treat others how you want to be treated. Much success to you all. Peace.